bomb right. It looks like an egg. Hit. No. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, whoa, dude. That's awesome, bro. Look at it. Not really. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What the heck? That was so cool. Wait. <laughs> Close my eyes. <laughs> I, think I'm or is it my eyes. I got smudge on my glasses. Can you see it? I don't know where I'm looking. Is it this way? <laughs> it's getting so dark. Oh my it's actually kind of crazy. <gasps> <gasps> you can't see it though because that's flash. Oh, shit. That's a yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the birds are chirping. and welcome back to another vlog we're doing another week in my life we're gonna try and keep it rolling i have some pretty fun stuff planned for the week this morning i didn't talk to you guys too much because it was actually solar eclipse day it got very very dark very fast and it stayed dark i think for three minutes the sun immediately came out right after it was so weird but also really cool like it kind of felt like a fever dream but it was super fun so i didn't talk to you guys too much this morning because i woke up kind of got ready for the day and then Chris's little sister came over and we walked down to the water and it was super fun There were like food trucks and there were a ton of people there I know there were like so many people that actually traveled to Buffalo to see the eclipse Which was pretty cool and then afterwards we went out to eat stuff like that and now we are home We're starting a week in my life today is Monday and I thought you know It wouldn't be a video of mine if we didn't do a little book haul This is all book mail except for one box one box is like a book subscription I am still sticking pretty true to my little book buying ban. I haven't really been buying a lot of books and stuff because I have so many on my physical TBR that I really, really want to get through this year. So I'm really proud of myself. I've been doing pretty good with it. But I did get some pretty cool books sent to me. The first one is Heir of Broken Kingdom. This is by Mads Rafferty. And this is actually book two in the series. She did send me book one a little while back. It kind of reminds me of Akatar and Powerless in a way. And I think that's why I'm so intrigued. So excited about these. Next up, I received this from Bloom Books today. We have The Deer and the Dragon by Piper CJ. This is from the No Other God series, I believe. I think this is supposed to be a fun little dark romanticy. Last but not least, we have my probably smut book box. I'm part of like their big mega box, so I actually get a little t-shirt every single month. This month's t-shirt just says romanticy reader on it. How cute is that? Of course, we have to take a moment for their beautiful, aesthetic packaging so we'll start with our book which is actually a hardcover book i'm super excited about this so we have a fate inked in blood by danielle l jensen i know this just came out because i actually got it from book of the month this cover though this is so stunning and then this is book one of the saga of the unfated it's also like a matte finish the cover is like a super pretty forest green we have a cute little author's note in it we all know i am obsessed with their annotation key with every single book you get an annotation key as well as matching tab we have some more book review pages for my reading journal on to the exciting part they also always send really fun stickers with their books the first one says in my viking era i totally forgot but this is supposed to be like a viking romanticy which i think is going to be super fun this one oh my gosh i love it, it says badass fmc club we love it slow burn the stickers with this box they're hitting guys they're hitting this one says not all scars we earn are skin deep. Freya born in fire. There is no less honor in them. I'm assuming this is going to be a top tier quote from the book. Oh, 
these are really good ones they send good stickers every month don't get me wrong but i'm living for the badass fmc club sticker and then the slow burn one i just love that so much another moment for the book because i can't get over how pretty it is i'm so excited it is getting a little late so i'm actually gonna sit down and film a fun little video for you guys which i've literally been trying to film like the past few days i've been sitting down trying to film this video over and over again i feel like i've been in a super weird funk and it's also been so gloomy here in buff the lighting is so bad but i'm gonna sit down and try and film this fun little book video for you guys I just finished up filming my little video, which should be out before this vlog. So hopefully it comes out okay. Like I said, I had to scratch like the first two or three times I went to film it just because it's been such bad weather here. But today it actually ended up being a pretty beautiful day. I'm gonna change in to some workout clothes really quick and then we'll probably head out in a little bit to go to the gym. I'm gonna sit down and do some editing, reply to emails, stuff like that. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Trying to pull myself together this morning. <laughs> I took a shower this morning. Chris is getting ready right now. And then we're gonna take Osiris on a walk because it is so beautiful out, guys. It's like 75, I think. 75 in Buffalo right now is like a miracle. I'm missing the sun. I need that vitamin D. So we are gonna do that. And then when we come home, the plan is to edit my April TBR video and get that posted for you guys because I have been getting so many questions on where that is and I want to get that out as soon as possible. I feel like I'm running behind on like all my uploads already this month which is giving me so much anxiety but it's fine. It's fine. We are going to make it work. I also have some stuff I have to film for some brands and yeah we're gonna have ourselves a fun little workish type of day. Tomorrow all the fun is happening because I have my hair appointment at 2. I'm so excited guys. It's not like anything drastically different but it's gonna be like different and fun for me because like my hair has been the same for so long. That is tomorrow. We have trivia night tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I highly recommend. It's so much fun. We lose every time. Don't get me wrong. We're not the best at trivia. Nonetheless, it's so much fun. If you don't ice roll your face in the morning, highly, highly recommend it. Honestly, is like the best feeling in the world. We just got back from our little adventure outside. It is literally so gorgeous out. It's like the first really, really nice day that we've had so far this year. So I'm very, very excited about it. But we came home and I actually got my Afterlight Book of the Month. So I thought we could open it up together. This is the cute little artwork it came with. And then for the book, it is the Kiss Countdown by Etta Easton. Look how stinking cute this is. And of course, this sprayed edges. I feel like Afterlight does some of the prettiest sprayed edges. And then this is the hardcover, which I think is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, this sounds so cute. I'm so excited about this. These are the past two books I've gotten from them, and their spines are equally as gorgeous. I wanted to show you guys them all together because I just think they are so pretty. This one is Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. This one is At First Spite by Olivia Dade. And then I just showed you guys the Kiss countdown but the printed edges on these are so pretty in my opinion i also really appreciate that afterlight makes all their books i think it's called b format they're like a little bit smaller than the average book i appreciate that they do all their books like the same size because then they look really pretty together when they're on the show it feels so good to just have like a fresh face but now i'm actually gonna take some time and clean up my office because it's a literal disaster i don't know i don't know what's happened here but there is just stuff everywhere i'm quickly gonna clean up my desk clean up my office a little bit and then we are gonna start editing hopefully get the two videos done today
Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am so excited. I actually just rolled up to the hair salon. I'm about to go in and get my hair done for the very first time in almost like two years. It's honestly insane. That's a super long time for me to go without like touching my hair. So I'm really, really excited. I want some bouncy, shiny hair again. I'm hoping today's appointment does just that for me. I'm not doing anything like super drastic or different. It's very minor changes. We'll see what happens once I get in there but when I'm done with my appointment I'm gonna head home and do a little work and then we have trivia tonight which I am so excited for let's go get my hair done <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm actually so in love with the color. The bangs are banging, guys. They're a little wild. I didn't really have too much length taken off. I just got like a little trim just to kind of make my hair a little bit more healthy. And then obviously we got some cute little curtain bangs. Color-wise, I really just wanted to be like a chocolate brown and basically just warm up my natural hair color a little bit. And then it's obviously really dark right now because it's like fresh out of the salon. But after like a shower or two, it's gonna lighten up. We're gonna have a little bit of the highlights come through and it's gonna be perfect but i'm really happy with how it turned out i was just getting so sick of like how dull and flat my hair looked now i feel like it has like a nice shine and vibrance and bounce to it i love it i think too when i curl it it's gonna be so cute <laughs> every time don't get me wrong we're not the best at trivia we someone's gotta get it wrong <laughs> So this is day one of me trying to style these wild little bangs, but I just got changed for the day. I'm wearing the new Hollister linen pants, which I am so excited about. It's like 67 out, so I feel like it's really beautiful weather for them. Chris is just finishing up showering, and then we're gonna head out. It's Thursday, so we usually have like a ton of stuff going on. I just wanted to say happy Thursday to you guys, and let's get it rolling. We just got home from the hockey game about like an hour ago and we had to walk home in the pouring rain so my hair got totally drenched and the bangs are no longer banging but that's okay. The game was actually a lot of fun. It was the last official home game of the season and we won against the Capitals which it was just such a fun game. Gave away t-shirts tonight too since it was the last game of the season but also it was like fan appreciation night but it's just a cute little buffalo and then it has all of the player names on it but it was a lot of fun i actually met someone too i met a really sweet girl named nina and she was just so nice like literally made my entire night she came up and said hi to me and we talked a little bit about finding 13 it was honestly one of the sweetest encounters i think i've ever had so that was really really nice yeah it was a really fun night 
Did you guys hear that? Someone is literally laying on their horn. I'm gonna try and get some editing out of the way and kind of just relax for the rest of the night. Tomorrow, we're hoping to go to a baseball game, but because of the weather and the rain, I don't know if we'll be able to, but I'm hoping we can because Friday night baseball is so much fun and they do fireworks out of the sporting events I've been to. I feel like baseball games are my favorite to go to. I don't know what it is about baseball guys, but it just makes me so happy. Fingers crossed the weather works out for us. Happy Friday, everybody. Today is a rainy day. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna make it to a baseball game, but I actually decided to start a fun reading vlog, so I think I'm gonna spend most of today filming that and doing a lot of reading. Happy Saturday, everybody. Yesterday, we talked very briefly. As I mentioned, I started a reading vlog yesterday and it actually carried into today. And now I actually just got to the ice rink because Chris has a hockey game today and tomorrow. So taking you guys along with me. The game doesn't actually start for another like hour and a half. I'm still filming a little bit for the reading vlog. I actually have the book with me right now. I'm just gonna hang out for another half hour and read a little bit in the car and then we're gonna head in. Nothing too crazy today. I think after the game we're gonna try and grab some food really quick and then we're gonna head home and just kind of hang out for the night because his game tomorrow is pretty early. I think we have to be here around like 9 30 or 10 I believe so we're not gonna have like too late of a night tonight and so then obviously tomorrow we have hockey again and probably do like a little weekly reset. I want to clean up the apartment. I gotta do laundry guys. I feel like I say this in every single vlog. I'm so bad at doing laundry. It is definitely my least favorite thing to do. That's definitely something I'm going to try and tackle tomorrow as well. And then I do want to try and get to Trader Joe's if we have time tomorrow because I'd love to grab a few snacks for the week. I'm going to keep reading for the vlog. I'm currently in the middle of Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Guys, this is so stinking good right now. If you love Elsie Silver and you love like the Chestnut Spring series, you will eat this book up. I am literally obsessed with it. It's giving off all of like the fun cowboy country vibes. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite romances right now. So you guys will see it in the reading vlog, but we also read Keeping 13 and Wild Love. I will never be the same. Stay tuned for the reading vlog. It's probably going to come out shortly after this vlog. I'm going to hang out for a little bit more and then we're going to head in to the game. Okay guys, it is later in the night. Chris and I got home about like an hour or two ago and we had some very yummy burritos for dinner that I am just so happy we got, but also slowly regretting because my stomach does not feel well. We're actually gonna spend the rest of the night just kind of relaxing. I'm about to jump in to Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. I finished up Done and Dusted at the hockey game and I absolutely loved it. I'm gonna start this book tonight and see what happens. I'm honestly eating this series up right now. I really want book three. I feel like the last few days haven't been too eventful, but I feel like it's still been a pretty good week overall. Tomorrow, we're going to try our best to do a little weekly reset. Depending on how tired we are after hockey, part of me feels like we're going to come home and want to just take a nap. I'm going to get ready for bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. We've made it to Sunday. We've made it to the last day of the week, the last day of this vlog. I'm Unfortunately, I'm a little delulu right now. I'm not gonna lie last night We went to bed around like 12 and then this morning I woke up at 7 a.m. Just randomly like I wasn't planning on waking up that early. I, I don't know guys I'm not all here today <laughs> But it's Sunday. So that's awesome His game starts in about like an hour and I actually am gonna run over to Ulta really quick because I ran out of my like hair cream So my hair this morning is like kind of flat. Usually I use 
used like a hair cream to fluff it up a little bit because I was so low on the hair cream yesterday it didn't really stay in overnight so I'm gonna run over to Ulta really quick see if they have the hair cream I want and then we're gonna go to the ring I'll probably still have a little time until the game starts so I'm gonna do a little bit of reading because I'm finishing up the reading vlog I've been working on since Friday I'm finishing that one up today I'm happy that today is like an early game to be honest because afterwards we then have like the rest of Sunday just kind of chill and reset for the week. If I had the time to actually shop, I think I would spend all day in that boot barn. I went in there for the first time. Like, I didn't really know what to expect. Like, it's called boot barn. So I kind of had an idea that they were going to have a lot of boots, but I didn't know it was going to be like a whole Western aesthetic store. Now that I know, I will be going back and purchasing a pair of cowgirl boots. They had like the smallest section for size six though, which made me a little nervous. But yeah, that was really fun. I'm happy I went in there. I didn't really have time to look around too much just because I am crunching now to get back to the rink in time for his game. But yeah, I had to share that little bit of info with you guys, especially because I'm in the middle of reading like so many cowboy romances. I just feel like I had to go in there to kind of match the vibes of my books right now. And the vibes were matched, guys. The vibes were immaculate. And I, it's so stupid, but I feel like my whole day is made now knowing that there's like this cute little western store that I can go to. grocery shopping earlier just kind of picked up like drinks we had to get paper towels stuff like that we didn't have to do like a major grocery shopping trip just because we still have like a lot left over from last week and then we stopped for a quick bite to eat just because Chris was really exhausted from hockey I just didn't feel like cooking either so we decided to stop now we are home Home. We are quickly approaching the end of today's vlog and I wanted to actually end it out with a fun little book haul and also show you guys what I got from Ulta. I got this adorable PR box but on the front it says hockey romance starter kit. They were so kind to send me a copy of the gram effect and a copy of the deal. Everybody knows that Al Kennedy is like the queen of writing hockey romances so I thought that was really really cool to receive from Bloom. I also received Late Bloomer by Maisie Eddings. This is a brand new book that I think it may be out already. I can't remember if I've seen it yet in the stores but I received this today in the mail and I love this cover guys I think it is so beautiful I'm always a sucker for like floral work when it comes to books I don't know what it is but I just love florals on book covers and then they also sent the prettiest page overlay with the book which I thought was so cool I've actually never used like page overlays like this is my first one ever so I thought that was really fun they also sent me a signed sticker by her which will be really cool to plop in there we stopped at Alta today as you guys saw and I actually just went in really quick to pick up some new like hair care products my hair is naturally wavy and I don't like doing my hair to be honest, I'm definitely one of those girls who showers and likes to leave my hair natural. I just don't like blow drying it. I don't like styling it often. So I don't use them all at once. I usually alternate and switch up depending on how I feel. I got this mini curl mousse by the brand Pattern. This is 
so so good not your mother's curl talk this is hard hold gel and then i got this leave-in defining cream this is a product that i haven't used too often but i saw really good things about it and it also smells really really good i have been using the same two hair ties for over a year i decided to pick these up because these are also like elastic and then the last thing i picked up is this morphe palette it's a vintage rose mini palette and i wasn't planning on getting this but they were doing like their big all to sale where certain products I think were 25% off or 30% off somewhere around there and I've actually been looking for like a fun new eyeshadow palette. I need a good one for like the spring and summertime and my go-to colors are usually like nudes and blushes so this is what the colors look like though. We have some really pretty pinks in here. I really like the shimmer too though. I feel like that's gonna look really pretty this summer. But those are the few things I picked up today from Ulta but with all that being said I think I'm gonna end out the vlog here just because it is pretty late at night. Stay tuned for a reading vlog that is coming very, very soon featuring these books. I'm actually in shock at how good the reading vlog came out because of how good these books are. And yeah, if you guys like these vlogs, if you guys like coming along with me every week, hanging out, let me know down below. But I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next one.